Hello, Japanese warriors. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Yes. Doing this rock sound exposure too. How's it going? It's been good, so far, yeah. It's been uh, no complaints. It's pretty <laughs> Is it doing yeah. what it says on the tin? Is it getting you more exposure from? Yeah, you yeah. I guess so. <coughs> it's always quite busy. Mm. I think it's cool the three band thing. Yeah. One. It's always they're all a bit different, so. Mm. And you just don't know like who the crowd are here to see. Like so, it's all like. You don't know whether it's... Everyone's quite nice, though, like, if they came for excess, they will stick about yeah, yeah. for playing yeah. after excess, not yeah. like, the venue's emptied at any point. We've only headlined one, though, so far. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, everyone stays. on the tour so far? <laughs> Glass, Glasgow kind yeah. of. Nothing massive. <laughs> we met the guy from Trailer Park Boys. You watched that show? Trailer Park? Trailer Park Boys, yeah. The cast, Glasgow. it's a Canadian con. They were in Glasgow, <laughs> they were in the bar, we hung out. That, that kind of made it feel like a party. <laughs> there was an open mic night in one of them, so we, yeah. and it was to us, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we were freaking out. The, the Dinosaur Pilot guys wanted to have a big one tonight because we've got a day off tomorrow. But yeah. We've just been confirmed for another show, so we're probably going to take it. Is that an exclusive? Easy. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> Play with Fu Manchu tomorrow in Manchester. Um, now, you guys, um, do you have any interesting stories from being on tour in the past? Uh, yeah. I always seem to forget them. Yeah. It's always hard when you get prompted and you're like, oh, yeah. The, the funeral for a friend one is one that sticks out. It's pretty funny. Which one's that? Oh. Queen one. Oh yeah, we're supporting a funeral for a friend in uh, Oxford mm. at the Academy, so it's a pretty big venue. And uh, just like we were at the stage door just before we walked out, they were playing Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, and just before it kicked in, like they, it got right for to the me, point. Yeah. For ding. me, yeah, the whole crowd were going nuts. Went ding 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 ding, and the guy was like, "You ready?" It was like, "Yeah," and the music just cut dead, and everyone in the place started booing. <laughs> As we were walking yeah. out. We got we got <coughs> booed, booed on. Booed on that stage, yeah. Yeah, so that was a, that was a bad time. But it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. You, I was laughing when we were walking on stage, yeah. you can't do anything else. Yeah. It's like I'm kind of pissed that they stopped the music. Yeah. And um, the excerpts. What do you think of them two bands? Also, I hadn't really heard the excerpts much before, but they were pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we've yeah. known Dance Pilot for a while now, so it's all, it's all good. Good stuff. <laughs> Singing along. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of get to know the songs because we watched most of the, the bands most nights. So. Yeah. Uh, what's it like um, with you guys watching uh, gigs? Where you come from then? If you're not on tour, if you're watching gigs. Do you tend to go to a lot of shows yourself or? Quite a few, yeah. yeah. If they're good band. Like, mm. we wanted to see Fu Manchu, because they're on tour at the moment, but mm. we couldn't because we were touring exactly the same time, but we've got a day off tomorrow and they're playing Manchester. With the excess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the excess, so we might just be <laughs> playing Manchester the yeah, next day as well, so. Yeah, might try and Should squeeze that in. But yeah, go to a few gigs. I've been talking for a while, though. Depends who it is, like. music yourself? Is it CDs, vinyls, downloads? I don't download personally. Yeah, really download. CDs, maybe. I, mean, I, I don't have a vinyl player, so I just play CDs. I buy records if I buy vinyls if I really love the 
because I like having the big, all the big artwork. Yeah. 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 Oh, one of those record players that turns over the vinyl automatically. Right now, you guys have released a couple of um, vinyls yourselves, like the singles, um, and you've also released some free downloads. What, what's your opinion on uh, the download, free downloads? That's probably just because vinyls are nice to have, but most people probably won't listen to it. So, um, so those are nice to like sell as a thing, but. Now, how do you think the the music industry might go in the future? God, no. <laughs> Down the hill. Still buy records. Still go to record shops. Yeah. When new albums come out and stuff. Yeah. CDs. No, we've never really lost that. We've always been into records. Yeah, yeah, CDs and... I mean, if I had a vinyl player, I'd probably buy more vinyl. Mm. But, yeah, CDs, I would, yeah, I'm not really... I'd only download something if I couldn't get it any, like, over here. Mm. Like, there's a few records that be like that, but... And then you can Amazon it. <coughs> yeah. 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 And we all agree it's nicer to have a physical, something you can hold in your hands, mm. and a MIDI file. What about you guys? CD. CD? I prefer CD. Yeah. No way. No. Vinyl, if I have a vinyl player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But not download. No, no. Yeah, that's cool. Vinyls are too hard to store. I like yeah. mine in the corner of my room, and they got baked in the sun over one summer, and now they're all warped. I can't listen to any of them, they just go slow and then fast and they're all... Have you actually got a vinyl player then? Well yeah, but I can't listen to any of the records because they're all nah. That was a really sad day when I realised that they were all ruined. <laughs> so I, I have loads of vinyl, but I can't listen to any of them. Uh, now you guys, um, what do you think the music industry might go in the future then? In the near future? Which way it might go? <laughs> Six feet under. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Music industry. Next question. I don't know though, because when, um, when the internet started, everyone said that like, the print publication was, that was it, there would be no more newspapers, there would be no newspapers online, but, and, but now like, if they're still going strong, I think it's, it'll, it'll always be the same thing in music, like, it might not be the majority of people who like to buy physical records, but I, I'm hoping there'll still be enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I read somewhere that the vinyls are still selling. Yeah. 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 Because it's hard as well, because like, it feels like the toilet circuit kind of tours are dying out as well. Yeah. Like really low level tours. Uh, it's, it's kind of a shame, because you know, it's where you cut your teeth yeah, it's like as a live band, you know. And there's just so much expectation for young bands now to write like their OK Computer as their first record, mm. which I don't really think is right. I think bands should have time to develop. So, so hopefully that's going to happen. It goes full circle. And, I don't know, feel, it'll probably feel like, I don't know, the 8th punk scene or something like that. Mm. Seven inches flying about everywhere. Get in the van. Yeah, which would be cool. But yeah, like you said, I mean, people are still going to have tons of money. Mm. They're still going to be stars, pop stars, yeah. yeah.